When drinking tea grown in Kenya, here's an often overlooked ingredient that can make a big difference. Monkeys. Oh, they don't affect the taste. But the presence of primates says a lot about a tea farm's commitment to the environment. When you come to Africa, especially East Africa, you expect to get great pictures of wild animals, like these monkeys. But in areas where the people have been farming, often they've chased away the animals. Lipton is determined to prove there's room for both animals and people on their Caricho tea estate. The company has established a protected area to provide a safe haven for primates, like the black-faced vervet. Lipton believes that sustainability is not only good for the monkeys, it's good for business. Consumers who buy our products are more and more interested in how brands are produced and how companies operate, and they want to make sure that it's done in a responsible way. Lipton wanted an impartial voice to measure the sustainability of their farming practices, so the Rainforest Alliance was brought in. After a thorough evaluation, the Caricho Tea Estate was given the Rainforest Alliance Certification of Sustainability. Lipton aims to have 100% of their tea come from sustainable suppliers by the year 2015. Seeing monkeys in the trees isn't the only indication of a company being environmentally responsible. The trees themselves are an important factor. Keeping large stands of indigenous forest helps stabilize weather patterns. Or more simply, no forests, no rain. No rain, no tea. No tea, no jobs. Kenya has a huge deforestation uh, problem. And so we've grown uh, and planted and donated uh, about 700,000 trees in the past nine years. There are other trees that Lipton plants by the tens of thousand for the sole purpose of cutting them down. This is a eucalyptus tree. Well, to be more accurate, it's a future eucalyptus tree. These are really the seeds, or seed pods. The seeds are much smaller. They are about the size of pepper. Can you see those little reddish-brown flakes, so small, they easily blow away. However, when they hit the ground and germinate, where they go is all the way up there, more than 100 feet in just eight years. Because they are so fast-growing, eucalyptus are an ideal source of renewable energy. Tea leaves have to be dried as part of the processing, which requires huge furnaces with an enormous appetite for fuel. The answer is the lightweight and hot-burning eucalyptus. It would not be an acceptable energy source in some other environments because these trees consume a lot of water. But in Caricho, where the amount of rainfall precludes a need for irrigation, eucalyptus is a sustainable solution. Also here on the Lipton Tea Estates, we, we generate about 80% of our own electricity. We have four hydroelectric power stations on the estate, uh, so we harness the water uh, to produce our power. The plan is for 100% of their electrical needs to be self-generated in two more years. All of these environmental programs, from energy production to land and water management to wildlife protection, help the Caricho Estate become Rainforest Alliance certified. Lipton plans to be the first tea company in the world to implement these environmental measures at all the estates and small farms where they source their tea. They're hoping consumers will reward that commitment by choosing sustainably grown tea. But they also say it's the right thing to do for the planet, and eventually other companies will have to follow their lead. We don't inherit the earth from our parents, but we're just looking after it for our children. The fact that this estate has been here for 80 years and is still going strong and it can go for another 80 years shows that you know, sustainability on a tea farm is really possible.